This is your Daily Digital Currency Report. I'm Amanda Gabriel. A new company is calling themselves the next NASDAQ. Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss are in the process of creating the first regulated Bitcoin exchange. The brothers cashed in their Facebook shares for a whopping $65 million. Now, with the help of engineers, banks, and regulators, the two are opening their own exchange called Gemini. Tyler Winklevoss says that right now you have to build the infrastructure. You have to walk before you run. A test model for the exchange has already been created. Now Gemini faces New York's top financial regulator, Benjamin Lowski. Lowski's office is known for leading the effort with digital currency in the U.S. Tyler Winklevoss says this time around we are betting on ourselves. Bill Gates appeared on Jimmy Fallon show recently talking about foreign aid. Gates discussed how many poor countries don't offer bank accounts. He said when an emergency happens, it is very tough for them to get back on their feet. Gates said that if we take the cell phone and just use digital currency, then you have all those financial services. Gates is still somewhat critical of Bitcoin and has said regulation needs to be perfected. This isn't the billionaire's first indication of interest into digital currency. Just last year, Microsoft added Bitcoin in its lineup of payment options. One of the world's largest point-of-sale solution providers is now offering Bitcoin as a payment option. Ingenico has partnered with Bitcoin company Paymium to bring Bitcoin to retailers globally. Ingenico's newest payment devices will include the ability to convert Bitcoin into euros instantly. The company has partnered with merchants in over 125 countries and has nearly 22 million POS terminals worldwide. A representative for Ingenico says that this allows us to bring more value to merchants through our terminals, enabling them to offer their customers a new experience.